Good afternoon, everyone. The U.S. EPA received 2.6 million dead bees in a delivery. Keep this hive alive. All beehives matter. Scotland glaciation commencing. Snow not melting this year, but this is actually a glacial lake. Snow hair earlier in the season. Mediterranean worst drought in 900 years, according to NASA. Dig into the lake levels on that one. Jupiter firing off electric universe. Scientists coming out, second half of the year cooler, as well as lead scientists in Australia saying grand solar minimum next year. Staying with the EPA, I guess breathing CO2 outdoor is more dangerous than smoking. In a rather bizarre story, 2.6 million dead bees were delivered to the EPA. The protest was about neonicotinoids inside different pesticides and herbicides that are killing off the bees. The drive pushing this is called keep the hives alive. And I could also say that all hives matter because no bees, no food, no bees, no coffee, no bees, no chocolate, no bees, no humans. Rare hair ice earlier in the season in Scotland. Take a look here at some of the unusual ice crystal formations growing off of tree branches. But staying in Scotland, this is the amount of snow still around in the highlands that has not melted off. It is the middle of July. Small crew running around checking out all the snow patches still left on the peaks up there. This one actually looks like it's beginning a new glacier. It's actually feeding into a glacial lake. These pictures from afar on a mountainside, that snow doesn't really look that large, but when you put a human on it, you can see really the massive scale of how much snow's left up there in the middle of July. A bit wider out here on some of the packs. Again, putting the scale to the snow patch here, at least it's six feet deep minimum. And when you start looking at things in crevices that are covering parts of mountains, that's pretty massive. And every image that I'm showing you here is from a different location. Jumping over to France, take a look at last year, 2015, compared to the bottom photo of what's left this year right now on July 7th. Jupiter, electric universe, you might want to delve into that. And also, all of the planets in our solar system have been showing changes in the atmospheres. Electrical connectivity, obviously not humans. Look at what the experts are now saying. Temperatures not risen in 15 years. Global warming should not be the main determinant of economic policy. Climate models are running way too hot. And we come in, scientists predicting a cooler second half of 2016 as La Nina kicks in. Dr. David Evans, climate modeler for the Australian government, says, Mini Ice Age 2017, your models are way wrong. That CO2, if it is forcing on the climate, it would only be 20% of what the models are showing at best. Took a look at the Met office here while I was looking at UK temperatures. Notice that 40 years ago, the UK was the warmest. Now it's actually cooler than it was. But when you look at more updated charts from last week, you can see it's still cooling this year, but somehow the warmest years have adjusted themselves. Wonder how that happened. More madness from the EPA, say breathing outdoor air with CO2 in it is more dangerous than smoking. I don't know what those guys are smoking. NASA report, Eastern Mediterranean drought, the worst in 900 years. So I jumped over to the medieval warm period reconstruction of the temperatures and precipitation. Notice right in Egypt there, the southern part of the Mediterranean where the whitish circle is. I pulled that report right up here for you. It shows how the ebbs and the flows of the precipitation either fill the lakes, turn them into marshes, or dry out into desert. You can see the undulations over the last 1,800 years, and it appears to be getting wetter right now. Staying with climate determination and forecasting, Hubert Lamb, climatologist at the UK Met Office, before he retired, finds that the culmination of the Little Ice Age comes to the Northern Hemisphere first, particularly North America, China and Japan, and then later to the Southern Hemisphere. I pulled number four, five, and six as indicators out because they match so closely today what's happening. 
ground spread of lakes in Central Europe, all the massive flooding, increase in freezing rivers and lakes, unusual anomalies all this year, and then increasing dust storms and sea floods as well. We've been seeing this time and time again. More people coming out now saying we better get ready. This thing's beginning in 2017. Mild crop losses at the late 216, but next year we're going to see some significant declines and major rises in food prices. 2017 dips in temperature over the last 2,000 years, very discernible by continent. There is some variance within that. And people always ask me, hey, which food should I grow? Well, I'm going to leave you a link here with the USDA National Agriculture Library. It's in the links below. Thousands of vegetables, hardiness zones, etc. You can take a look for yourself. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. All hives do matter. We need those bees more than ever. And when it gets cold, they're subject to either cold damage or death themselves. Without the bees, we as humans don't survive. We cannot hand pollinate all of our crops.